So there was a um, conversation that was going on with one of my shorts yesterday when I was at work. I put out a short yesterday uh, kind of detailing, talking about what is going on at Bungie. There's been tons of layoffs and that final shape has been delayed until June of 2024. And Marathon's been delayed until 2025. Depends on if it will be delayed until 2026. Now, there's been an interesting, interesting, excuse me, conversation of people talking about wokeness and that trans people are being at the studios. Trans people is the reason why Bungie has been letting their workers go. They're becoming too woke. Wokeness in this country has nothing to do with the bigger picture, what's going on. And I want to talk a little bit about that in this video. What's going on at Bungie and what's going on in the corporate world and capitalism has nothing to do with wokeness. Wokeness is not the thing that people need to be giving their heart and soul to talk about. I mean, every time something's going on in the world or there's something that is happening or something that is changing, people tend to bring wokeness into the conversation, detailing and saying that that's the reason why this corporate or this corporation is falling. That's why people are losing their jobs. You guys don't even know what the definition of woke means. The definition of woke, they took that word from a civil rights term, if you want to put it in that sense. Um, Black Americans has used that term for many, many years. And conservatives in this country has taken that word and made it into something that that's not what the term means. Now, I know a lot of you guys might be in the younger bracket probably saying like, oh, I just woke up from a sleep. Is that what it means? And usually that's what the younger generation are thinking like, oh, I just woke up from a sleep. You know, for me, you know, I, you know, I like to deep dive into history. I like to, you know, learn new things and stuff. I like to read, if you want to put it in that sense. I, in my spare time when I'm not making content or just gaming is just boring, I like to read books in my spare time and watch documentaries on certain things. The term wokeness has nothing to do with anything that's going on in this world. Wokeness is not the term for trans people. To just put that in a sense. Wokeness has nothing to do with women being in the workplace. Wokeness is more like a civil rights term that was used properly for many, many decades. And like I said, conservatives in this country has taken that word and made it into their own demographic or making it into their own political gain to, you know, I guess fear monger people saying like, for example, here in Florida, they ban a lot of books here in Florida um, when it comes to the AP um, African American studies, they banned that. There's a lot of things that's going to going on. So that's what politicians are using that term. And if you guys don't understand about Moms for Liberty, they're doing the exact same thing. And hearing people bringing this into the conversation about what's going on at Bungie, that has nothing to do with what's going on at Bungie. The sale that Bungie had with Sony has nothing to do with that either. Hearing some reports detailing some things, um, has nothing to do with that. Now, you might might hear my mouse clicking because I'm reading through this thing. You guys will see on your screen right now. The layoff decisions came directly from Bungie's management, not Sony. This is not about Sony replacing Bungie employees with their own people. That is the source that we got now. Shout out to Paul for having this source and detailing some things because everybody's been trying to figure out what the hell is going on at Bungie. <laughs> Many employers' benefits though not health insurance, only lasts until the end of the month if you are let go. Laying off people on the 30th means a single additional day of coverage. So people are going to be losing their coverage <laughs> since yesterday because today's what, the 31st? And yes, on November 1st, this is when health insurers tend to, you know, roll in and, you know, update their, their I guess, like update their policies Letting, you know, people know what's going to be covered and all that stuff. So that tends what's be going on when it comes to health insurance or any insurance that you're being covering. Like usually they happens on July 1st. Some happens on October 1st, November 1st, and some happens around like December or January 1st of next year. Many employees has unadvised shares as a result of Sony purchase. The shares will be received based on staying with the company for a certain number of years following the sale. But those shares revert to Bungie if you leave, even if you're fired, which is what's happening now to many of those affected. So 
the shares that these employees have right now are being affected. I know there's one company that has here in, in the South, we have a, a, a company or a grocery store called Publix. And those employers, when they leave or they retire, they will they will have their shares. Their their shares will be belongs to them, even if they leave the company. So Publix is a really good company to work for if you're living down south because the shares that you get. This company that Bungie is what they're doing right now is a shady crap that they're doing. And that's why unions are very important. Because when you're a union, you can't do this shady crap that Bungie's doing right now up here firing people and doing some stuff. I think everybody needs to be in some type of union because when you're in a union, you can't do all that necessary crap coming up with this little dumb excuse of why you got to let people go. And this is what Bungie's doing right now. For me personally, hearing what people have to say from the shorts in the comment session, you know, a lot of people kind of jumped on the person in the comment session. Like, I think you have a personal issue. I think that what you're talking about in the comment section, it don't make any sense. A lot of people was trying to figure out if he's making any sense. The, the things he was talking about didn't make any sense. You know, I didn't say anything like, you know, I just said, my guy is it's really that type of argument that you're having right now has nothing to do with this. And reading this and seeing this, that Sony has nothing to do with Bungie's employees and replacing their own, it, it shows you a lot about the shady deals that Bungie's doing right now. And the amount of talent that they let go yesterday just shows me that, you know, they don't need to release Final Shape. Because I'm not wasting... I mean, just to think of it, the people who pre order this game way early. Because <laughs> there's people who pre order Final Shape, you know, they got excited and they wasted a hundred dollars for this company. Me, I did not pre-order no game, and that's why I hear a lot of stories about people saying never pre-ordered a game early, and this is the reason why. Uh, for me, I pre-ordered Spider-Man like a week before the game got released because you never know delays like this. The studio might shut down your money. You might not get your money back. So that is just. This really sucks. And hearing the news and hearing the things that's going on, it really sucks. People are still blaming Sony for this, but it's like, it's not really Sony. Sony is just, <laughs> Sony just like acting you know, like Microsoft when they just, they're just buying up studios. They're letting the studios do what they got to do to make their studio perfect. This is all on Bungie's management. This is, has nothing to do with Sony. And clearly the things, the information that we got, you know, the, the, the source, this is what they're saying. And people still blaming Sony for the debacle that's going on at Bungie, but clearly it's Bungie's management. You can clearly tell it is because Sony's not going to bring their own people in to like into a studio that they require. That's up to the studio to hire employees that they feel that, you know, will make their games polish. But hearing this stuff that's going on right now and hearing the, the people's comment session, it, it, it's making my brain fry. And I had to make a video kind of detailing some things because wokeness has nothing to do anything with this game. I think people need to understand that. Let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section. I want to hear everybody's thoughts about this. This thing is really saddening a lot of people in the community, especially people who goes to, you know, Bungie Studios to play the game a little bit early and meeting all those employees, giving their two cents of how to fix the game and make the game better. And the same very people that you probably talk last year or months ago are no longer working at Bungie because Bungie feels like they want to change some things and don't want to pay for this and don't want to do this and don't want to add coverage. And a lot of cases, uh, people need to understand that that's why health insurance is very important and needy in America right now. Even if we got to find ways to pay for it, health insurance is really needed because this is just ridiculous. Everybody else can have health insurance in Europe and every other places. Here in America, the health insurance system, it, it just sucks when it comes to people covering your health insurance and when it comes to paying for health insurance. It just really sucks. And that's why health insurance and having these type of topics, meaning like having unions 
and protecting the workers is very important because without us workers, without us, these corporations won't make billions of dollars every year.